Hey, um, I, there was a small slip I did in the last example. I missed out something. In fact, I missed out what I really wanted to bring out. So the last example in the previous video that I just did, I'm going to repeat it again. You know, in MR, I still say the best way to learn MR is to take a project and then, you know, pick up the theory, what you want and fit it into it and learn to do the project. As you can see, now our approach is very theory based, you know, and you, there's just so much theory that begins to, you know, to come in. Um, but uh, one of the things I've realized is while doing an online, you know, doing the project, I, I, you know, it's more theory and then we, wherever required, we pick up the project. Uh, unlike the previous uh, methodology where we do the project and wherever required, we pick up the theory, right? Because um, I think the group thing is not really working. A couple of you are sending it. Most of you are not doing it. So, you know, it makes sense to do theory and uh, pick up the project wherever, fit in the project wherever it is required. Okay. Now, I'm going to repeat the last example. I'll probably take, uh, may take the notes. This is where it really helps to have a board, you know, so you don't have those slips. You don't miss out anything. Um, so I'm taking an example and I'm going through the bar steps, right? <clears throat> the first step is problem definition. So the management problem which I had was why are students missing marketing class? You need to the, come up with the marketing research problem. So the marketing research problem would be understand the reasons why students absent themselves from marketing class. So management problem, research problem. Now we come to step number two. Step number two is deciding the approach to the problem. Clearly, this is an inductive problem because there is no hypothesis available. You have to start with observation and, you know, research. Uh, you can also make the research questions. In the problem definition, there was a broad research question. The broad research questions can be broken up into sub-questions, right? And those sub-questions can be put into the approach to the problem. Step number three, research design. Now, I want to talk about the second component. Right. So the second component of research design, okay, first we decide it's a non-conclusive research. I think clearly there is no conclusion coming up. It's a non-conclusive research. Therefore, it has to be exploratory research. Now, in exploratory research, we will choose qualitative research because we need primary data. Right? Um, and to collect those primary data, we choose focus group discussion. Eight people we chose from you know the whole class. We choose eight people. So that is what it is. So uh, just to repeat it again. First, we decided non-conclusive is exploratory, qualitative, and then focus group discussion. Hope you got it. Okay. Thanks, guys.